Tabitha Karanja is not a new face on the Kenyan scene. As a trained accountant and salesperson, she quickly employed her professional skills in running a hardware. But her ambition to grow and diversify her business was overwhelming. I wanted to do manufacturing. But at, the moment, at, the, at first, I didn't know what I wanted to manufacture. After conducting her own market research, she resolved that processing of value addition was to be her next stop. And in 1997, she decided to venture into the alcoholic drinks industry, her keen eye for opportunity having led her to identify a market whose needs were hardly met. Using savings she had mobilized over the years from the hardware business and the other sources, it was time to roll out her next business plan, starting with fortified wines targeting the low-end market. Nobody could believe that uh, what a multinational was trying to do, we Kenyans could do it. So there was a lot of uh, challenges of people not believing the drink could be of the same standard or the same quality with the multinational one. But going into the alcoholic drinks business was later to turn out to be an eye-opener, with locally manufactured products still perceived to be of low quality, meaning that break-even point was far off for Tabitha's offerings. Tabitha's journey in the sector has not been smooth, but spurred by her strong will and never-say-die attitude that has seen her fight many battles. In a market characterized by cutthroat competition, where the rules of the game are not always followed to the latter. But the only product that was there for our competitor who is now a multinational. So I thought, why don't we venture into this, not knowing uh, the challenges ahead, thinking that it's just business, you uh, start business as usual and start doing it. Thirteen years down the line, Tabitha's table of Keroche products has grown exponentially. In 2008, she invested one billion shillings in a new ultra-modern brewing plant, becoming the first such facility only owned by indigenous Kenyan and second in the country. The plant has daily capacity to produce 40,000 bottles of the farm's flagship brands of Summit Lager and Summit Malt. As we are going to, the, to sell the fortified wines, you could hear people telling you you have a beer, I mean, you have, uh, do you have any beer? No. Because what they, maybe they wait up to five o'clock to get a supply of a crate of a beer. So that's the time I saw Kumbe there. It's also a gap here. Currently controlling only 2% share of the market, Tabitha is not contented. And last month she introduced another brand, ready to drink vodka into the market, targeting mainly young professionals. This now brings to aid the product range of the fortified wines and beers. Is because of the Kenyans. You know, after getting the support I've gotten from Kenyans, I can say that was uh, kept me moving and proud of what I've managed to do. Keroche Industries is an equal opportunity employer. It currently employs 200 skilled personnel directly with thousands securing employment indirectly. Tabitha is not done yet with the numerous opportunities being presented with closer regional integration and says that's our next step because for this Kenyan entrepreneur, the sky is the limit. By nature, entrepreneurs are doers and not just dreamers. And also famous entrepreneurs agree that the greatest failure is failing to take chances for yourself and your ideas. So Tabitha took her chances despite the numerous challenges that lay ahead. For Movers and Shakers, I'm Tony Sanya.